Hi everyone, how are you all today? So today is my last day in quarantine and I'm super happy about that. And tomorrow I shall go and feel free and go for a long walk and, and just get some fresh air. So today again, uh, we're quite short on food supply. So I really, uh, I did make something, but I didn't like the video too much. Um, so I thought let's have an educational day again. And today I thought let's talk about um, pulses and its nutritional benefits of pulses and and how it compares with meat and then we can finish it off with just talking a little bit about um, whole grains and the difference between refined grains so pulses versus meats okay so now um, pulses are very high in protein more so than meat and it's um, very crucial for our diet as it's packed with nutrients and minerals. Um, it helps very much for people with uh, cardio diseases and diabetes and um, even helps if you want to lose weight. So um, it's extremely healthy and I just wanted to tell you the difference between um, uh, pulses and meat and, and basically pulses versus meats. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to read from you from my books that I'm studying at the moment because it's quite interesting, you know. Um, and it says here, uh, so we're going to go what versus what, okay? So pulses has the highest fiber foods, as with meat has no fiber. Uh, pulses is high in phytochemicals and meat has no phytochemicals. Um, pulses are very high in antioxidants and meat has minimal antioxidants. Um, pulses are low in fat and satur saturated fat, as in meat is very high in fat and high in saturated fats, which is very unhealthy. Uh, pulses is cholesterol free, as in meat is high in cholesterol. Um, you know, uh, pulses have no hormones and no antibiotics. And as you very well know, that um, meat is very high in hormones and antibiotics. Um, uh, pulses are low chemical contaminants, as meat has high chemical contaminants. So you can see there's a big difference between pulses and uh, meat and, and how unhealthy the meat is for us. Um, so... Uh, great if you're vegan make sure you include your your pulses in your diet and if you're not vegan i highly recommend that you try slowly slowly to reduce your meat intake and try to add in more pulses and there's so many different recipes that you can uh, try um that there's you know there's there's so much in the market i've got a few on my um videos if you scroll down you'll find them but if you just tap in on any of the, the media's um, links, you'll find many, many different recipes. So do try because um, it's much better for your health. So that's pulses versus meats. Now we're just going to go on and talk a little bit about whole grains. Now your whole grains are your brown rice, your brown pasta, barley, buckwheat, millet, oatmeal. These are uh, full of uh, minerals and, and vitamins. Um, it, contain, it contains a lot of fiber. It's full of iron, folate and magnesium. Okay. Now the refined grains, because they, they um, are milled, so this uh, removes the germ and the bran, um, it changes its texture and therefore it loses all its nutrients and loses the fiber as well. Um, so, and that is your white bread, white pasta, um, white rice. Um, so it's, it's best to, again, try and slowly, slowly re replace your refined uh, grains with wholemeal grains. And I know it's not easy. Um, I mean, especially white bread. I think that's one of the most difficult and white rice it has been for me. My white pasta now, I, I can't touch that. I don't like it at all. Um, I'm fine with brown pasta. You see, what happens when you become vegan, slowly, slowly, your taste buds change. Um, so if you just try at least once a week, add in the whole grains, and then slowly, 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 you'll be able to come off them completely and just stick with your whole grains and come off the refined grains. 
so that's it so this is the end of my quarantine um, days and and these videos will have to stop now because um, I start working here in London and I will see you when I get back to Cyprus so have a lovely day and lots of agabi to you all bye